Hello and welcome to Regina Tarot. I'm Regina and this is the tarot forecast for the sign of Pisces for the month of May 2020. A little bit about the spread. Uh, top line across, that is your public life. Second line down across, that is your private life. Third line down and across, that is your health and well-being. And the fourth line down and across, that is your work, career, and creative projects. Okay. So, Pisces, in your public life, this is interesting. The Aquarius also got um, this card as their first card, being the Seven of Pentacles. So, this is like cultivating something. Like, your scene is being hard at work, um, doing something. Um, and then the Hierophant suggests that um, something about your public life um, either has very much to do with your spouse, if you are, happen to be married or coupled, um, your partner, your, you maybe just be that you're being seen out and about together. You're seen as a very strong couple. Um, you as a pair might be seen as a strong team in certain areas. Um, and I think that what this is saying is that you are known as a team that people can come to for help with certain kinds of things. For others of you, um, this can be spiritual work, um, that, that may be coming to the forefront and the, the public's eye might be on that. So like this would be Pisces who would do something like this, right? Like, like tarot reading. Um, some of you, you know, like if you are associated with a organized religion might be either stepping into a role or you have been stepping into a role where you're, um, like ordained, Sometimes this is a rite of passage of some kind connected to spirituality, but this is all in a public sphere. Um, you could be in a spiritual community um, where there's focus on you for some reason within that community. So these are all different things that could be playing out in your public life. There's also this King of Cups energy, which of course is water sign energy. Um, this is, uh, sort of counsel. I would, for me as a reader, this always comes to me as like a counselor, someone who's seen as responsible, very emotionally stable and emotionally supportive. This is a person who knows themselves well, how to, how to navigate, um, sort of the undercurrents. Like as a king, it's also a political figure. So this might also indicate some, th some sort of like really deep understanding of, um, emotional motivations as it applies to politics and organizations. Um, and there's something about that coming through that is important to you this month. Um, and again, in the public sphere. So what I'm feeling like is when it comes to different organizations that you may be involved in, um, you have a handle on it. Like you have a really good handle on it possibly a different perspective. And I think that a lot of people are coming to you for advice around this, um, in those organizations, uh, about different, different kinds of things. Um, it's kind of interesting. It's a little bit of a calm energy here, but there's a lot of undercurrents that you are picking up on. Um, and that's, that observation, that power of observation and understanding is, um, sort of putting you in the forefront a little bit this month in May. Um, let me know what shakes out in the comments if you feel like it. Um, we've got in your private life, this is interesting. We've got seven of wands, king of pentacles, four of pentacles. So in the pri in your private life, there's some issue where, um, this is somebody holding their ground. There's like a lot of people who are kind of against whatever this, this thing is. It's not clear to me if it's a direct conflict or a way of doing things where you know you're in the right and you kind of have to either explain yourself, hold your ground, hold your boundaries. Um, people might be trying to convince you to do something a different way. Um, and it's more than one person, right? 
The other thing is sometimes, and it's similar to the five of wands for me as a reader in this sense, but sometimes this is a lot of people wanting your attention. Um, and there's a difficulty in terms of managing your time, energy, and attention between public obligations, private life, and um, work and career. I usually don't skip. I, I mean, I don't jump that far ahead, but I do. I, because the five of uh, wands is showing up in there, I did want to mention that. This it, Some of this is around time and energy management, like your personal resources, um, a lot of demands, and you're having to say no, or you're having to suggest alternative scheduling around keep making sure everyone gets the appropriate amount of time, but also making sure that you get your enough time for your, so you can take care of yourself so that you can take care of all this other stuff, um, and help and be helpful. Um, King of Pentacles, this is an earth sign, um, energy. I feel like this is another person, but this also, interestingly enough, I feel like for some of you, this is you sort of outwardly exhibiting this energy within your private sphere. So, um, this is like stability, um, slow movement and progress, being very methodical about certain things. Um, also sitting firmly in your authority. Um, there's a little bit of stubbornness here, but I almost feel like the King of Pentacles is showing up. If this is you exhibiting this, it's to help you navigate. It's like you're calling up your inner earth sign to kind of help you navigate everything that's going on for you this month. And then the Four of Pentacles, by the very end of the month, you are extremely protective of yourself, your time, your resources. Um, this actually might be material as well as um time and energy um and and scheduling um something about it like this card sometimes for me like it, like on the face of it like it would seem obvious that it's you know money related but it's not always sometimes it's it's energy and uh other intangible things um that it can can impact your finances right if you don't take care of it um, but this, this is like across the board. And, and the thing here is remember the King of Cups, the go with the flow kind of watery energy of that. Um, I think it's because you're drained, you might be kind of clinging to things a little bit too tightly. Um, the thing here is like, yes, protect your resources. Yes, protect your money. Um, and, and all of that stuff, but also don't forget that you also have to live, right? Um, that's just what's coming through there. And this, this is all in your private life. This is like not public stuff. Um, in your health and well-being, page of cups, empress and justice. This is excellent. So page of cups, I don't know. I'm feeling like there's an invitation to engage in a physical activity, that is beneficial that you know will be good for you. Um, and I think you say yes. The Empress here suggests that you do it, and it really does it yields really positive results for you. And it may correct something unseen for you um, in your body and your physical well being um, with this Justice card as the outcome. So it's something, the other thing too is like one of the elements of the Justice card. Um, is the scales, right? The balance thing. Um, it's not quite the same energy as temperance, right? But it's, there's a sense of something coming into balance that whatever it is that you're doing for your health and well-being this month, it is absolutely 100% the right thing to do. Um, Page of Cups at the start of the month and the Empress too. Some of this might have to do, um, like you intuitively know there's something, what you need to do and you are on the right path with this particular area um just with that justice card as the outcome all right so let's move on to work career creative projects um here we go five of wands strength and the seven of swords so this is interesting there are a lot of moving parts for you pisces like i don't know if you are sort of um having to juggle a lot of different things like you might 
be starting your own business while holding down a day job. You might have a lot of different obligations, like a lot of irons in the fire. And I feel like that's what this five of wands is about. Um, something about whatever it is that you do to earn an income has a lot of people pulling on your attention and a lot of tasks pulling on your attention. Um, with this, with the five of wands, um, there, these can come into conflict with each other this month. One of the things that's coming through about this is the reason they're coming into conflict with each other is that, um, a lot of things are taking off and you have to make some decisions. That's, I mean, that's all in the, in the other areas of the spread around, um, how to spend your time, which things to focus on. Um, and that might be a little bit hard, but the strength card here tells me that you get it under control and figure it out, right? Um, there's a lot of that kind of thing going on throughout the spread. Um, and then the seven of swords at the end of the month, there may be one area of this where you thought it was going to go one way and it goes another, or there's new information that comes to light around a work career matter or creative project that has been hidden. Um, you may catch someone doing something that they shouldn't be doing that's not right towards the end of May. That would be um, for those of you who have like a, a day job. I feel like there's some sort of incident. Like it's, it's like there's some sort of incident here and you find out about it. You're the person who gets the information somehow. Um, in other areas, if it's like entrepreneurship, it could be that you sign up for a service and it's like, it's, I wouldn't say scam necessarily, but like you find out like that there's un, there's fees for, for something that have, weren't disclosed properly. Um, and then there's someone trying to pull, there is someone trying to get free services out of you. Um, but you see it coming, like, it, or you find out about it and you put a stop to it. Like, it's not, um, like, I don't feel like this has long-reaching uh, consequences. It's just very frustrating. And you do have to watch out for it with so much stuff going on during the month of May, right? Like, there's, the, the busier we are, like, the more likely that certain kinds of details fall through the cracks. And I feel like whoever, if this is a person um, trying to get something out of you, um, then I think they know how busy you are, right? Like they see it and they're trying to take advantage of that element of things. Um, but it's not going to work. Like it, it's not going to work. You're going to catch them either right as it happens or a little bit before. And I have a feeling you guys are pretty intuitive. Like, um, you may actually see it coming, um, or have like a feeling about it, you know? So it's like that, that service or, um, contract that you're considering taking on or signing that you don't have a good feeling about. I feel like because you don't have a good feeling about it, you are going to double check stuff and you're going to find where the problem is. Um, if it's that kind of situation. Anyway, let me know what shakes out in the comments. If you enjoy the content here, please like, share, subscribe. I really do appreciate any support. And it does help the channel quite a bit. It helps me keep doing this. And as always, thank you very much for choosing to spend time here at Regina Tarot.